Hey everyone, welcome back to Dubious Engineering. Right, Les, turning over. People stop shouting. Right now, please. Well, you're doing it like razor blades or use this shave. Hey everyone, we've been very kindly invited out by Wise Owl Productions to take part in a show called Great British Inventions. It's starring David Jason or Sir David White OBE. So I got to meet him, I got to work with these guys. Sir David works so hard, you can't believe it. Honestly, he's such a hard worker. The entire production crew from Wise Owl Productions, absolutely magnificent. They worked really hard. The two camera guys didn't stop, you know, big heavy cameras. And then you had the production assistants. Those guys were fantastic. They kept the information flowing. They made sure everybody was where they needed to be at the right times. And then we had Mick, the sound engineer, freelance guy, absolutely brilliant. Really, really, what was lovely about this whole experience is everybody took a few moments out with us just to sort of show us around their gear. What a magnificent experience. Anyway, here it is. Now, we're here, this is the museum for um, lawnmowers, right? And uh, <clears throat> you have got something here that you have made, or should I say invented, could you show it to me and tell me exactly what it's supposed to be? We're in the British Lawnmower Museum in Southport. We've driven about four and a half hours up here. It's really wet outside, unfortunately. So what we're going to plan to do today, hopefully, is get some video footage of the wonderful old robot lawnmower that started the YouTube channel all those years ago. With a little bit of luck, we might actually be on telly in the not too distant future. We've got a whole production team over here on the left-hand side of us that are waving. <laughs> Okay. Right. You see, it's your own bloody fault. I know. No, I shouldn't have done it. Should no. I? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm happy. So to speak. Uh, there's actually a, a regular shop. Are you a locksmith? Yeah. He's a locksmith. How cool is that? A master locksmith. Excellent. Why don't you come in and have a quick look around? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Ian Brickstone. Ian, excellent. And this is your shop then, Ian? That's it, yeah. Fantastic. So you cut keys. Yeah. And uh, so if somebody's got like a problem, they've forgotten their combination to the safe or they've locked themselves out of somewhere. Can you fix that for them? Yes, it's what we actually do. We, uh, if you have a look at the safes here, we sell them. Yeah. And because we sell them, we know all about them. Um, um, I was taught by Brian Radham, the creator of the museum. He, he's a master locksmith. He taught me all he knew. And um, we've basically passed that knowledge on down the line, but we not do car keys as well. Excellent. So uh, if you've lost your keys to your car, we can make them. They're quite expensive, aren't they? Car they can keys. be, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're full of electronics. Yes, exactly. But you'll know all about that. So you need to get them programmed, is that yes. right? Yes, okay. we've got lots of different equipment to yeah. do that as well. Fantastic. It never ends the... Sure. Uh, the money you have to spend to keep up with the advances in technology. Of the technology, absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's lovely to meet you. Thank you very much. That's a real camera. Yeah. Maybe we should change yours. <laughs> no way. <laughs> this is Mick. Yeah. Mick's got the worst job in television. Sound engineer. Nobody understands what I do. <laughs> There's a big switch there. That turns everything on. Oh, boom, and off it goes. And then there's everybody yes. talking down there. And all of these are digital, and they're all telling you they've got little LCD displays on them. Yeah. And they're telling you what you're, what you're linked up you. to. That one's me, clearly. That one's you. That's me. Yeah. Which one's you there, when you talk. Yeah, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So look at that, yeah, you see you've even got David, with yeah, David's he's, name he's programmed regular. in. Yeah. And uh, I'm I'm just R3, yeah. yeah. Anyway. That's you. Or C3, channel three. Yeah. Look at that. Fantastic bit of kit, lovely bit of range. What's the range on this bad boy then? A couple hundred meters? Radio mark's about halfway across a football pitch. Yeah, okay. Okay. On a good day you yeah. can get a quarter of a mile. It's very, very, very cool.
shower. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Producer. <laughs> And that's mixed dead cat. Oh, I can't see what you can see. <laughs> it's a proper bit of engineering no, going on here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it should be done. Yeah. What are you doing, Brian? I'm just altering the you set. You mind so your just just sluggy fingers in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So can we just do the chat first? Yeah. Alright, and then we'll, um, we'll have a go at the moment. Bye, please. Um, action. Right, let's have a look at this then. Now you correct me where I'm wrong, but I think this was, is, I know it's not the original, it's a copy of, is it the very first lawnmower? Well, to park it, you can't have that out stiff like that. So let's get it compact, he thought. Yes, I was going to do this, but uh, I thought I'd let the boy uh, do it. He needs to, he needs to be taught how to do it. Okay. Go on, my son. Here he goes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. We've already seen him. That's the last. Yeah, haven't we? Okay. So, so all I <laughs> want to do then is to say. I think it'd be nice to say, well, that's, we can see how this goes to the original Rawmark work. Okay, uh, that's well, that's marvellous. It's seeing this original concept of a lawnmower um, actually working, and it does work really But, shall we see if we can put it in competition with the most latest of the lawnmower devices? Howard, turn it off, you're on. So everything is made out of recycled equipment. I love so, it. So yeah. these batteries here are batteries out of old used laptops. So these are lithium ion cells. So, so they, they, sorry, but th mm -hmm. that means that you can recharge them, is that right? Quite correct, yes. So this is rechargeable. Yeah. So there's two sets of batteries. One set of batteries looks after the electronics that drives the motors and the sensors. Yes. And one set of batteries look oh. after the, the, the motor drive for the blades which are on the bottom of this, bit of the and the blades are a little bit scary. Oh, yeah. They're like razor blades, or you use this shave. They're razor blades that are glued onto an angle grinding and, disc. And angle grinding disc. Indeed. Well, you talk about Heath Robinson, it is, but necessity is the mother of invention. And the reason I say that is because that's exactly what you've done. Yes. You've used anything that's available to do the job that you want. And that is that is what inventors and inventions are all about. If you're enjoying this channel, please go ahead and give us a good old thumbs up. Make sure you share some of this with some of your friends. Perhaps go and watch a few of our other zany videos. On top of that, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And uh, otherwise, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Cheers and beers, people. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>